Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make notebook inserts. This is the exact same process that I use for my bullet journal inserts that I use in my traveler's notebook. Now the materials you'll be needing is some sort of cutting tool like an X-Acto knife or like this box cutter that I got from the dollar store. A ruler, a stapler that can open up, an eraser, a bone fold, a cutting mat or something to protect your desk, paper, file folders, staples, I personally like to have a hard cover or some sort of sturdy cover on my traveler's notebook inserts. So I got this file folder set of three from the dollar store. Comes in many different designs. I'm choosing the sprinkles for today. Now I'm going to be taking a ruler, setting up my mat so I don't scratch up my surface, and using the box cutter to cut a straight edge. Then I'll be taking the ruler again and removing this tab from the side of the file folder. Now I'm going to fold it in half. I'll be using my bone fold, but you can use anything you want here. Then I'll take my ruler one more time and the box cutter and cut this in half. Now I have the outside cover for my notebook. I'll be folding this in half and this will be the outside of my notebook. Then I'll take five printer papers, fold them in half, cut them, and then fold them in half again, and this will be the inside of my notebook. The reason I'm cutting them in half is because I only need 10 sheet inserts. That'll give me 20 pages or 40 front and back pages which I can design on. I'll be adding a link in the description where you can go and download a bullet grid PDF where you can print some bullet paper for bullet journal inserts. Using the bold fold or something to fold them in makes this a lot more compact and easier to staple or to bind at the end. You can use different binding methods for this, but I like to use a stapler method. Now all I do is place the blank pages inside the file folder cover, line them up, put the eraser down, and use the stapler to staple into the eraser. Then it easily pulls out, and I can use the bone fold to fold the staples in, binding my notebook. As you can see here, the first staple went in crooked, so it came out on the inside on the actual pages. So then I just removed it very easily and stapled again. Then I take my box cutter and my ruler and cut off about one centimeter off of the notebook's edge. That way my notebook has a nice clean edge. This is optional. I personally like it because it makes it nice and clean. And it makes my notebook look a little bit more professional. Now you can either leave your notebook like this or you can decorate it. I'm going to put a label sticker that I bought at the dollar store. All in all, this is a very affordable way to make a notebook insert. Most of my materials were purchased from the dollar store. I went out of my way to make sure that anybody 
is able to purchase the materials in order to make this project possible. You don't require a lot of money in order to do a great little project. This little notebook is almost an A6 size, as you can see here with the ruler. I'm showing you both in inches and in centimeters. If you choose not to cut off the edges, this notebook would be a perfect A6 size. Bye guys!